Okay, model of so today we're going to be looking at working with metal tracks. Um, now these are for all tracks, but there's different brands of these. Um, these tracks are fairly expensive to buy. I don't use them a lot. Uh, it just so happens these came with the kit that I'm building at the moment. Um, so that's why I'm actually using these. If I'm going to buy metal tracks, I'll try and look for the cheaper brands, which are, well, maybe not exactly as good, but they're okay. Um, and there is a few little tricks to actually using these things, to putting them together. Um, they are the, the top notch once you once you get them right and you put them on. They're just they're beautiful. Gives weight to the model. Um, you can put the sag and all that sort of stuff in them. They're not sort of stuck in one position. You can sort of move them around. Very very good products. These. That's why a lot of modelers do use these. But like I say, they do. It's an extra cost of putting a kit together. Um, you can do the same thing with Magi tracks and stuff like that. It's just that they're not movable and all that sort of stuff. But you can get the same effect. Um, if I have the option, I would like to use metal tracks all the time, but with the expense, yeah, it's something you've got to weigh up for yourself. But anyway, guys, they normally come just in a box like this, like in a pack, and they're made for one specific piece of armour normally. Um, and inside we have, the first thing you normally have is your little list of instructions here. Now, the instructions are very, very basic. Uh, just gives you, like, you know, cleaning up the tracks, drilling the hole, um, you need a, a 0.5 millimeter drill to drill the holes out, which is the small little tiny needle drills that we use in modeling. Uh, like sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. But it's best to just run that drill through there to make sure that the eyelets are, are open to put the wire through. But they're very basic instructions, guys. Um, even the cleaning up part of it, um, sometimes you've got to do a little bit of cleaning up. Other times they're molded nice enough, you don't have to worry about it. There's no seams or spikes or anything hanging off them. So that's your instructions. Have a quick look at those when you get it out. Um, the next thing, we have our roll of uh, wire here. That's the part that's going to go through the links to link the tracks together. Now, they give you enough to do them, but don't waste it when you're doing it because they do give you normally just enough to do it. If you have to, you can cut some wire, some other copper wire out of spare wire if you've got lying around, which I have over there. Um, but I like to use this stuff. It's it's meant to do the job. Um, it's and like I say, that there's enough there definitely to do it, but just don't be wasteful with it. And then normally the last part is the two bags with the actual tracks in them. Now you've got, normally got the left and the right track. Now what I normally do, I'll, I'll mark the bag left and, and right as I put them together. Um, now when you tip these out, um, I have a cup or something to the side so that I can put them in that cup and keep them definitely separated. So when you've cleaned it up, put it in the cup uh, one at a time until you fill the cup up and then start gluing them together. Um, the other thing is don't tip both bags out because if you put a, you know, if you mix them up, that's it. It's it's very hard to sort of find out which one you've, you've put in backwards. So anyway, guys, that's that's what's in the package, and I'll just get set up and I'll start putting some of these together and I'll turn the video back on and I'll show you how we actually put these things together. Okay, modelers, so I'm starting putting the uh, tracks together now. Now, when you do this, please wear gloves, especially with these furrow tracks. Um, they have a lead component to them, and they're very soft, and they bend very easy because they're pretty much made of lead. Uh, they're like a lead silver, I think, the, the compound is. Um, so please wear gloves because lead can actually soak through your skin, and um, yeah, you can end up with lead difficulties in your body or whatever it is, lead poisoning, maybe not lead poisoning, you have to have a fair bit in your body for that, but it's not good for you to have lead sort of absorbed in your body. Wear gloves when you do it. Uh, so anyway, I'll start on the track here, I've got the links over in a cup on the side like I was saying before. I take one link out at a time, like this guy here, and I, hopefully I can get this camera to focus for you guys while I do this. Uh, Please forgive me, I'm at, like always guys, I'm at an awkward angle. Um, so you run the, the drill bit through, okay. Now I mount my drill just on the end of a toothpick, so it saves me changing, you know, going over to different size drills all the time. So you just run it through. Now if the link is bent, like I say, these things bend easy, um, like just straighten it out before you run the drill through there. Okay, run it through that way. Now, one of these will have, let's see if I'll find it there. Okay, that one there's got a closed end on it, as you can see. It's not actually opened up, so you want to drill from the other end. 
where it's open and run it through. Now the drill may go through very easy like it is on this link here because the holes are fairly clean. Um, and I can see that, that one's bent a bit so I'm just going to straighten that out. Um, get it to run into there. Now when you go into that last bit there, that last one, just give it one little twist like that just to clean it out but don't go all the way through okay and then we put it down into the into its position where it's going to go now just check because there can be a little bit of um, you know like a little bit of seam and stuff like that you've got to clean up and where I've bent that obviously it's a little bit out of alignment so just sort of look at it with your eye make sure it's nice and straight and put it in its line and like I say guys, a little bit awkward because I'm doing this at a weird angle because I've got the camera sort of at the side of my head now just get your wire okay and start feeding it through now it can be a little bit a little bit of a chore to get the first one lined up okay, but once you get through that first one normally it's a bit easier to go through the rest as long as you've got it sitting you know, sitting in there like so. Now, I usually use a set of tweezers like this, and that helps me put a little bit of force on the wire to push it through. But don't don't force too much where you're going to bend the wire. Okay. Now, keep looking to make sure that when you get to the end, like we are there now, we're on the last link, and it's going into that little where I was saying you got that closed bit. Give it one more little push, okay, to make sure it's definitely seated in there, and then give it a snip. Snip it off nice and flush, like so, okay. And then I just use a bit of super glue and I just dab on the end there. Now you can put the super glue on the end, like I just said, or you can put super glue on the wire as you're pushing it through. Just got to be careful if you push, put it on the wire first and push it through because it can start getting a bit sticky as the super glue sets. Um, doing it that way though, make sure that it's definitely going to hold in there. Uh, putting a dab on the ends on here, sometimes that can sort of break if you're, you know, you're moving the tracks around a bit. It can crack the super glue off the end of it. But normally the wire doesn't work its way out. And if it does, you just got to push it in um, when you get the model in place. Push those little pins in there as you set the tracks. And, you know, like just leave it. Because obviously you're not going to be wheeling the thing around like a toy. but. Um, but just check that because it, it can ruin it if you, there's a bit of wire hanging out the end. I can actually see one there that's sticking out the end a little bit. So I'll push that back in. Like that. And that's that's all it is guys. When it's, if it works its way out, just push it in. Um, I'm going to go through and super glue these afterwards. I'll go through and put the links together and then super glue it. Now I'll show you the model I'm trying to make these tracks for. It's um, this thing here which I'm doing a video for. And as you can see this thing is massive so I've got a, a whole heap of work to put these tracks together it can be a very time consuming chore uh, very tedious uh, I just put a movie on the background I just go through the motions and do it uh, but it's definitely worthwhile doing metal tracks guys and doing them properly if you have got them they do cost you a bit of money so it's definitely worth the time putting the time in to make sure they're done correctly so anyway guys hopefully you got something out of this video and I will see you in the next video